Hey guys, ADHD here. Today's video is Most Dangerous Hover Slash Flight Edition. You guys have been requesting this for a long time, so I'm finally glad that it is here. This does not include like RC helicopters. I know a lot of you guys want to see that, but I'm working on a dedicated video just to RC cars and RC helicopters. This is mainly the kind of stuff you have like that you throw and it flies, like kind of like frisbees, boomerangs, this kind of stuff. You guys have been asking for a frisbee for a long time. This is a whole video about frisbees and others that like frisbees. Right here, this is called a disc ripper, and you pull this string, and this thing flies into the air spinning. It's basically a Beyblade for the sky. So if you guys like the Beyblade video, this is basically an aerial version of that. I'm pretty terrified because I hated, I didn't hate it, but I was scared the most of the Beyblade video. And this is basically that, but it flies. So this is gonna be terrifying. I'm gonna try to make it as dangerous as I can. And Nerf 3.0 guy is on its way. Do not worry, I am working on it as we speak. So the <laughs> Nerf 3.0 is coming out, so look forward to that. But for now, let's just start. I'm gonna show you guys all this stuff. Okay, so this is basically me showing you all the different stuff, but due to the design of some of the stuff, they're designed very lightweight and very precise in order to be able to fly or hover, you know? So a lot of the stuff I actually couldn't end up using because it was either didn't have the structural integrity to be modified or adding modification to it basically made them not work. So not everything on the table got used, but I'm just gonna go ahead and skip ahead to the modifications you guys can see the stuff that I did use. All right guys, here is all of the stuff. This took several hours to get together. If you guys can drop a like, I would greatly appreciate it. If you guys to 5,000 likes, that would be awesome. Here is all of the stuff though. Gonna get started on using it and showing you guys one at a time all the different items. These things look freaking epic. I'm really excited because this stuff just looks like it's gonna be devastating, especially these Frisbees. These are the things I'm probably the most excited for. But anyway, let's go and get started. All right guys, so our first thing we're gonna be trying out is the Spy Gear Ninja Star. These were Originally just foam, just like that, that inner shape right there. That's what it used to look like. Now we've made them into actual ninja stars. Let's see how these work. All right. Oh my god. <laughs> I already broke blood. <laughs> what the heck? It Dude. already made a slice into it right here. You see it? Yeah. That's a full slice. Look at this one in the <laughs> just, Oh my god, it's like all the way in there. I definitely don't think Spy Gear would sell these. <laughs> <laughs> all right, going for that watermelon right there. Ooh, nice. Nice. Oh, I got it, but it just bounced out. <laughs> dude, they're going full length, too. Damn, dude. <laughs> Those are getting, like, all the, like, all the blades are going completely in there. Yeah. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh my god! Dude! <laughs> Holy crap. Those shots were beautiful. Oh, oh, there it goes. <laughs> I love how the tip hits like every single time too. Next we're gonna be doing the torpedo. <laughs> or jug. <laughs> what are you doing for that melt? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Water jug, you're mine. Oh, there you go. Right there. Went straight in, came right back out. <laughs> Get a little squirt, yeah. <laughs> I didn't say it was an explode, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> All right guys, right here we have the classic, classic, you know, elementary school paper airplane. And basically what we do is we put a nail at the end of it. So a pretty sharp nail, like sharp is not like a fine. And we're gonna see if it'd be actually good for like a puncture type weapon. This is a paper plane launcher, so instead of me having to throw it, we can just go and use this. Oh, oh shoot! <laughs> that's pretty cool for a paper airplane. Yeah, dude, for only for paper. It is, <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. that's for, paper being launched that made a puncture <laughs> into this. That's like that. That's a lot harder than your skin, dude. That would definitely make a pretty like hard puncture. Want to take one to the hand? To the hand? To the I'm hand. Down. <laughs> With gloves on, of course. No gloves. No gloves? Yeah, I'm down. What the fuck? All right, guys, just because I was curious, we're going to be letting Parker shoot that paper airplane into my hand to see if it actually would make it a weapon. I think it might for a paper airplane, <laughs> but who knows? We'll find out right now. All right. Fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Starting to regret this a little bit more. Are you sure? I'm ready, I'm ready, go. All right. Oh, I got to turn it on. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, wait. <laughs> Are you okay? Alright guys, take two. <laughs> wait, Brad, turn on. Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, 
Oh man, dude. Both times that you can feel it like go in and oh. <laughs> come back out. I honestly feel so bad that I keep doing this, dude. All right, guys, that's that's it right there. Both times. All right, guys. So basically, what this is, is called the Hover Blade. It's by Air Hog, and basically, this little fan right here. It's like a Ninja Star, except for it's a self-propelled Ninja Star. Yeah. Oh shit! <laughs> Oh, oh, oh my god! <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god. Why did they keep coming back? <laughs> Alright. Holy <laughs> shit! Alright guys, so we're gonna be starting off with our first frisbee here. These are the things I was most excited about. These are the frisbees. So right here we have a regular one and we have two other ones over here, but I'll show you guys those next. Are you ready for this? <laughs> oh my god! It made a puncture into the melon and <laughs> Okay, full force in the jug. Oh! <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go for some range. Alright, here it goes. Oh! <laughs> First try. <laughs> that was dope. Alright, next one is the death disc. Taking inspiration from the death blade from Beyblade. Alright, ready? Yep, yep. Oh! Oh my <laughs> god, dude! Dude, that clean Holy slice shit. through it! And it got stuck in the melon! <laughs> Oh my god. We definitely already found our winner for the ultimate frisbee. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that slice right here, dude. That's like a guy gigantic gash. Can you imagine that being like your thigh, dude? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, we tested my accuracy with the Zingbo. Now we're gonna be testing my accuracy with the frisbee. I'm gonna be going from the same distance I did the Zingbo, about 40 feet, in for our friend Jefferson Stillflex over there. Alright guys, right here, 40 feet. Can't go any further back before we get into the jungle area as I told you before. I'm gonna try it right now. Alright, we're good. <laughs> Alright guys, so right now we're going to be trying the one thing that I have to do indoors is the basically, like I said, the in-air bay blade. This thing is going to be in the air spinning with these blades on it, going this direction. I'm definitely, this is the only thing I'm nervous for because we couldn't do it outside because it might fly over the fence. And I can't just take something like that to a park. That's like freaking, you know, I get in trouble for that. So I have, the only place I can do it is right here and right now. So put something over the TV. <laughs> As you can see there, if you guys saw Nerf 2.0, you didn't have the last TV. This thing right here, we couldn't actually end up using because it's too spongy. It's just extra protection for the TV. I'm just to the buying time because I'm a little afraid to do this. Here it goes. Ready, Barker? I hope so, man. <laughs> oh my god, dude. I didn't pull very hard. I just to pull a little harder. That was very light. Now I'm even more nervous. I thought you pulled it. No, I barely hard. pulled it. Oh, oh my god, god dude. I need to slice somebody up. Alright, he's gonna have to pull it even harder. That was still not that hard. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, I've been scared, dude. Me too. Alright, pull for us here. Here it goes. Oh, oh, my god. oh shit! Holy shit! Oh my god! What just ripped off? Holy shit! Oh my god! Dude, good thing that wasn't your fucking chest or some <laughs> shit! Oh my god! What the fuck? Holy shit, that was scary! That oh my was, god. dude. It didn't even go up, it just went straight that way. Exactly, I was like, oh my god, I gotta get, I gotta get it out of here. <laughs> dude, okay, let's try it one more time. One more time? Oh my god. I wanted to get in the air, that's why. That was fucking terrifying, Jen. It was, and you're doing it again. <laughs> Alright. Oh my god! Oh shit! <laughs> Hover over where I want. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was right by your head, dude. Holy fuck! My fucking heart's menacing. <laughs> We're done. We're done with that thing. That's done. That thing is menacing, dude. That is like literally the danger, the most dangerous toy. <laughs> Holy fuck! Oh my god, drop a leg, guys. That just for me risking my fucking throat. That was a throat level. Seriously.